give me my phone so I can call my mama. You're not gonna call the one for the now, okay? Relax. Hey Siri! Relax. Hey Siri! <laughs> Whoa, bro. Your phone don't work like that. You gotta unlock it first, you dumb. I swear, hold on, let me put my screen back right. She said, hey Siri, hey Siri. My nigga, that shit ain't gonna work. Not like that at least. Hold on. Hold on. You're not gonna call the one for the now, okay? Relax. Hey Siri! Relax. Hey Siri! Get the off of me! On January 24th, 2023, at the Frontier ticket counter in Miami International Airport, oh, two man. female passengers erupted into chaos after being informed by an employee that they could not board their flight to Atlanta due to being 45 minutes late. The situation escalated when one of the women threw a plastic... Bro, that is the most annoying, like, sh ever. I'm going to keep it real with you, bro. I'm the king of missing flights. <laughs> I'm telling you, I'm the king of missing flights. And, of course, it's my fault. I ain't going to blame the airport, you know what I'm saying? Because I feel like, damn, y'all want me to be here an hour early? Like, anyway, when well, you about to board your flight, bro, and you're late, well, not about the board. When you get there and you're late and you're ready to board your flight, they tell you you're too late to board the flight. The plane is still there, my nigga. And catch this, though. It's going to stay there for another 20 minutes. Swear to God, the plane is still there, my nigga. You see the steward is walking. They to open it back up because somebody with a wheelchair need to get back on or has it. I'm just too mature to flip out at an airport over some shit like that. You know what I'm saying? So I feel her pain, but you gotta know how to you gotta know how to bottle that up. You do. Sign holder at an employee causing a severe injury to her nose. Here one, what yeah, happened? Here one, yeah, what causing a situation escalated when one of the women threw a plastic sign holder at an employee, causing a severe Ooh, injury to her nose. Yeah, you go to jail. Here one, what happened? Here one, step over here a second. Here. I heard the commotion riding back out right here. Uh huh. I think she threw some of the plexiglass or her phone. I'm not sure exactly. I just know some. The girl go ah, and then blood. Okay. And then they were raising, raising cane. Okay. Two females. I did take a picture of just, or a video just, I didn't get this, which I wish I would have, but I was more worried about You're like, watching it. Uh, making sure everything was black. Right. His shirt say explosive pair? Yep, sure do. Miami Airport, nigga. You don't see them niggas at local airport squad. And that sounded stupid what I just said. You don't see them at small town airports. And to keep it real, I would have been mad as hell if I'm an explosive specialist and I'm dealing with this ghetto ass bitch. You know what I'm saying? Up here talking about, hey Siri, hey Siri, I think you, this beneath your pay, uh, pay grade, right? Gotta be. Nigga, I'm looking for the Osamas in this motherfucker. I ain't worried about this bitch that flew out here from Atlanta, bro. Nigga mad because she can't board no Get this, time. which I wish I would have, but I was more worried about You're like, watching it, uh, making sure everything was black. And right. the reason why is because it almost got out of hand. They're, the officers approached rather gently, if you ask me. They approached smartly, but like, let's calm this thing down. So mm -hmm. they did a good job there. Uh, the one girl was just off the hook. Uh, the one with the colored hair in the... <laughs> let's see, so I can reference the girls and you'll know who's here. You had one in pink? <clears throat> yeah, she's the second girl. So, this is the second girl. This is the first girl that caused the biggest, biggest commotion right there. Okay. So the one in the pink was causing the commotion, but not at first. She spun on. She bled off the other. Man, girl. get to the oh, bitch. She's like, like damn. Off. Get off my friend. Get off my friend. That white lady. You know what I mean? Going off, that dropping that bombs. Right That's because two officers approached her because she's out of control. Then she's dropping that bomb.
off, get off my friend, get off my friend. You know what I mean? Going off, dropping F bombs. That's because two officers approached her because she's out of control. Then she got out of control and he tried to approach her and then calm her down. And then she was like, Don't touch me, I ain't done nothing wrong. So he was kind of like a little passive, okay. which is fine. Okay. Then they smartly moved her out of here and she's going crazy and spazzing out. And they had to put her down to the ground at some point. You got it. I was like, They need to put her down. Like, they were like too nice. Yeah. That's when the other girl got loose. And hey. This I just want to see if I got uh, like the homies up in the chat right now. Are y'all them dumb niggas that shop at the airport? I swear to God, I be seeing Louis Vuitton stores. I see, I see clothing stores, suits, and people actually shopping at the motherfucker. What? What? You gotta, you buy luggage to take the shit with you, or are you stuffing in the luggage that you already got? What's the use of shopping at the airport, my nigga? I'm for real, bro. I just thought about that when I seen them with them paper bags. Like, people really do be shopping at the airport, squad. I don't, I don't. You, you must. Your, your life ain't that popping. I'm sorry, you bougie bitch. You not that popping. You was a nobody, nigga. So stop trying to front, nigga. You shopping at the. Crazy, bro. Next time you go, just stare at them motherfuckers. They they gonna look at you, and then they gonna look straight, keep looking at you like, what you staring for? And just have that look on your face like you shopping at the fucking airport, nigga. That's why I'm looking at you. And if you white, you can still say it in your head because nobody can hear you. So just say, you shopping at the airport, nigga. You know what I'm saying? Shit crazy, bro. And the two officers were down. I had gotten off my bike now and I saw her come. Imagine trying it on. <laughs> like I don't I don't get <laughs> I'm trying to like bro, I can see if you go on vacation, you go shopping on vacation, then you bring it back home. But when you shopping at the airport, do you shop on your way or on your way back? to your goddamn destination. Do you leave the house, go to the airport and shop, and then go on vacation? Or when your vacation is over, when you're tired as fuck, and you you still shop when you're on your way home? Do you shop at the first airport? Because if you're on a vacation, you got a connected flight. So do you shop at the first airport or the second one? That's what I want to know too. And vice versa, when you come home, do you shop on the first? <laughs> I hate y'all niggas, bro. Damn, man, this shit crazy. Coming, and I was ready to jump on her at any moment because no, he had to weasel, he had to catch up, and she had full access to her gun, his gun, one of the officers. No, yeah. That's what I was worried about, so that's why I stayed. Don't let I get the hell out of there. It's none of my business. <laughs> so I saw that they, he tackled her and did a great job, and they got her cuffed rather quickly. This one took a longer time, um, and that was pretty much Do you know what the fight was about? Did you hear what it was about? No, but I already suspect from Frontier, it's probably the world's dangerous job. Right. Frontier and Spirit ticket counter. Right, uh, right, right, right. It's probably because of that, uh, they don't have their seat or they don't have their... their hey, how you know a nigga... <laughs> Oh, uh, Michelle just deleted somebody, so I got to block you, nigga. Rest in peace. Hey, look. <laughs> How you know when... <laughs> oh, I'm not even to say that. I'm going to say this. Let me just put it like this, bro. The only way you should be flying... And I'm talking to the males out here. All right, let me just say this first. Because <laughs> I ain't trying to... You know what I'm saying? If you a dude and you traveling and you flying, make sure your cool your suitcase is like anything but pink. You know what I'm saying? Black, blue, green, red. You probably get away with purple and all that. Because if you walk in there with a pink suitcase, you look like a broke nigga. That's the only thing you can find. Like your sister or somebody let you, unless you gay, right? It's niggas you can. 
if you can afford a flight, right? Let me just say this. It matters what your luggage look like at the airport, my nigga. You're not getting on the bus on the way to your fucking cousin house. It's not that, my nigga. It's not that. I'm just being real. I be seeing niggas at the airport with the butt. Like, bro, what are you doing with this Puma gym bag with these hoes in it, squad? You don't go out like that. You at the airport, my nigga. This is it's not... Transportation got levels. You got the bus, the Uber. Hold on. You got the bus, the train, then the Uber. Then the planes, my nigga. You at the top tier of traveling. And you can't afford a $70 suitcase, fool, when your ticket was 200 or something. I just hate to see it. I always hate to see it. I mean, you can get you Adidas. Not even Adidas, bro. Go to Walmart and get you a nice hard shell to the suitcase. A little turtle shell uh, suitcase. Nice one. $70. Put all your shit up in there. Hate you niggas. And then it be stinking. Then you want to use that as your carry-on. And then my bag going to be stinking because they going to be touching together, like touching each other when they sitting at the top. For eight hours. I don't care who you is. If you leaning on some something for eight hours, you gonna smell like that too. Ain't that about a bitch. Got the whole cabin stinking. Hate you niggas, bro. How the fuck? Listen to me. How you gonna have this bag that you use when you about to spend the night at your bitch house? You got this bag. You put your PS5 in it when you go to the homie house. It's the same bag you use at the gym. And you go you use it as your luggage at the fucking airport. Hate you that shit don't match. Stop doing us like that, bro. You be pulling up. Imagine who you who you be going to see when you be traveling this whole time, and they come pick your ass up at the airport. And you got this busted ass bag. They don't be wanting to say nothing, but they be saying it. They just don't say nothing. I'm telling you, bro. Incrediware is the first wearable anti-inflammatory. Not only does it take away the inflammation, but when you take away the inflammation, you take away the pain. And that's the most important thing. I don't care about that shit. What my cursor All Incrediware products are embedded with... Pay for your backpack. Pay for your backpack. It's all on the airlines. So okay. You, you know what I mean? Okay. But yeah, uh, the officers approached smartly and then uh, did a good job. And, you know, I just was worried about their safety. That's why I kind of hung out. Okay, so you saw the throw, the, the phone, the I plastic saw, thing, you the, thought... I think it's the plastic. Right. Cut her in the face. When I looked, because it was going crazy, I was kind of mocking This nigga a real cop. Kind of he snitching like, he's so That's jolly with it, bro. Take your ass to work for real. That's that nigga job in the tan shirt. Okay. And then the officers were about right here. They finally approached. I hate when niggas walk out. I just hate to see police with baggy guns, bro. I know that don't make no sense, but it's gun baggy. Look at this fool. I hate sloppy, lazy looking man. You a man. Do a fucking push up and some squats, nigga. I hate you. Slop you a man, bro. That nigga gun baggy. Look. Look uh, okay. And then the officers were about right here. What the hell is that shit? As going it's almost at the counter. Where the people standing at? His gun almost got caught on the rope. Look. I swear to God, look. Okay. And then the right there. Were about right here. Blood coming from her face from the ticket counter lady. Okay. And then the How your gun that baggy, bro? The officers were about right here. They finally okay. approached as they're going ballistic. And then the I was never see the, like the, that. That the officers stupid. at all at any time. Yeah, I did see the Silly girl in the pink right pants, here. the not the non starter. Became a star, uh, uh, fuel to the fire. She did, I would say she did, in my opinion, she attacked the two. Man, the what's the truth? Yeah. What's the, how the fuck, how can the police say, in my opinion, 
she attacked him. Nigga, that mean you didn't see it. How you gonna say, in my opinion, she attacked? That means you didn't see it, bro. You not a witness. How you gonna give an opinion on some shit that you didn't see happen? You just guessed the situation. How you gonna guess an altercation, bro? In my opinion, she attacked him. Damn. If you would have saw it, you would have said you saw uh, This nigga is crazy. Hold on. Oh, no, I didn't. Hold on. On starter. But came, I did see the girl in the pink pants, the, not, the non starter, but came a star, uh, uh, fuel to the fire. She did, I would say she did, in my opinion, she attacked the two. Yeah, and that's why I, I was this. I got this nigga had to demonstrate the walk. <laughs> Show us again, bitch. Hello. Yeah, and that's why I, I was this. I got. She even went near that gun. I was gonna tackle. Bro, how you go? That that my opinion killed me. So you went over there after the altercation. You seen them arguing, and you said your opinion based off the argument that you feel like the other girl attacked her first. You can't go with all the opinions, nigga. Go to the cameras in the court. I mean, in the fucking airport. You got a million of them. That's Miami airport. I promise you, they got ten thousand and two of them up in that bitch. It's Miami airport, bro. <laughs> <laughs> This nigga said, well, they were arguing that she was more irate. So, in my opinion, she attacked her first. <laughs> Damn. Okay. Yeah. So, I, I would say, this, this, yes, first of all, they attacked the officer here. The one girl by herself. She was nasty and spinning and kicking and everything. And they did everything kind of trying Gently, to stand off. Right, right. See, we need to talk to the officers, bro, that was involved. Because he keeps saying what they did. First, she was kicking, and then they was trying to film her off. And then the officers, they, they. Well, let's talk to them, bro. If we want to see what happened, we will go to the cameras, nigga. Yes. First of all, they attacked the officer here. That one girl by herself. She was nasty and spinning and kicking and everything. And they did everything kind of trying Gently, to stand off. Right, right. And so she was resisting arrest for sure and attacking assault on the officer. And then the other one was assault on two officers down on the ground and potentially she could have been shot. Why you didn't help if you seen all this shit? This is what I want to know. Why you didn't help if you seen all this shit? Bro, you didn't. You going off the officer word. Let's talk to the three officers involved. The two that was on the ground and the one that was at the counter arguing with her or the one that supposedly got pushed. Like, damn, you seen all, he's he describing it play by play like he was there, bro. He sound like one of the bitches in the hood. Swear to God. He sound, he making it seem like he was there, bro. You wasn't. Damn. And if you was, you should have helped. Okay. I mean, if, if, if he didn't know the situation and you saw this thing, and you saw a girl running after her and the way their guns were sticking up like this, right. she's coming from the back. Okay. So, but, yeah. Okay. Awesome, thank you. And I know he has your name, so yeah. good. I'll reach out to you if I need anything. Thanks, yeah, Jim. No problem. Easy day. Thanks, buddy. Why are you reaching out to him? Because it worked with coming in. Where did you say where the phone is going? I'm getting her. I'm getting her. I don't know what happened. Hello, there was passenger. It was a lot of witnesses. Me, Morrison. Me, the one of those TSA guys on the bike. Uh-huh. Um, that's his contact number. He heard a lot of commotion, caught his attention, he looked over and saw the subject. Pink, the one in pink. The one in pink, to an unknown item. He didn't see what yeah, item it was. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This. What are this stuff? What is this called? This. Clipboard. No, uh, uh, display, plastic display. Plastic yeah, display. Plastic. Sign display. Plastic sign display. <laughs> hey, no, what is it called? I saw an unknown item on her face. Immediately. He said, what is it called, a clipboard? He said, no, nah, plastic sign display. Plastic, damn. They had problems trying to decipher this one, all three of them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This, what is this stuff? What is this called? 
This clipboard. Uh, uh, display, plastic display. Plastic yeah, display. Plastic. Sign display. Plastic sign display. <laughs> <laughs> no, right shoes. Oh, I got an unknown item in her face. Immediately saw blood coming from her face. Uh, heard Miami Dade County officers arrived and saw the two sub sister. Right. What else do you need, bro? No, that's it, I guess, uh, for now. She's being with them. Okay. She's got Raider right Root, a uh, rate. Right, she said. Hey, sit at Miami Airport at the entrance for, what, three hours? How many bad bitches you finna see walk in and out that motherfucker? Oh, my God. Oh, my God. You gonna see a grip of them on wheelchairs because they just got BBLs. So the bitches come to the airport. They sit in the wheel. I promise you, I seen the videos. But other than that, mm, this is, oh my God. Says you can't get refund. You're the ones late. She was helping her friend that was polite and everything else. But then they, she goes, what? You're helping me, her get the refund? I go, you guys can't fly. She got crazy irate. Grabbed one of these plastic uh, signs, mm -hmm. this place, and threw it in the rain of the top of her nose. And, and then we had uh, a TSA Tide agent. Heard the commotion and when he started turning around, they came this way, saw the thing flying and hitting her. Hold on, is you the police or a Gucci model? Cause that is a Gucci blazer. Then she got the Gucci messenger bag. Then she got the Gucci belt on. But then I see the police badge. Miami is cracking, hold on. Yeah, she thinks she hot, but she not. She's still the police. But what I was about to say is, if I was the police, I promise y'all, my mama, if I got into, like, <clears throat> had a call and I went out to go, whatever, and they threw a plastic sign at me, I wouldn't even, like, charge them for that shit. It's a plastic sign, bro. It's like they be petty. Like yesterday when we was watching they arrest that girl at the house and she got kicked with a knee. I mean, she kicked the officer in the knee and they charged her with assault. Accidentally though, not purposely. I don't like that. And then the 13 year old, I, remember, I mean the 12 year old, remember him? He sound like a pig. I remember that video. I'm gonna drop that tomorrow as a matter of fact, but yeah. He was resisting because he was scared. They charged him with assault and resisting arrest. Police be tripping, bro. They 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 really be on some buster shit. Like really be Heard the commotion and when he started turning around, they came this way, saw the thing flying and hitting her in the face. Uh oh. This what we came for. Who that nigga went out? Stop. Chill out. Chill out. Damn, you gotta be black. She still shit at the counter, and then they came over, they calmed him down, and they immediately the fuck got off of me, and then they tried to do it nicely, and they couldn't. Sound about Frontier. <laughs> hey, in the beginning, y'all remember they said they, it happened at the Frontier airline? What's the, what's more bootleg? 
and we talking about on a level from private jet to uh, what spirit? Yeah. Matter of fact, we talking about from soul plane to private jet. What level is spirit and frontier on? Which one is on top? Like, is spirit better than frontier or frontier better than spirit? Which one is it? Because both of them motherfuckers is like pay less and then the shoe owl at Walmart. So, but which one is better? Because uh, before DJ goes, I wasn't flying on them motherfuckers, bro. I, let me tell you something. I'm the master at like learning off other people's mistakes. What mistake goes? Flying them airlines. I heard too much about it. I heard way too much about it. It's way too much. Spirit decent, spirit the worst. Who is Ja Wu? Ja, ja Wu. Who is that? You meant to say Ja Ru? This nigga said they did Ja Wu from New York. Nigga, Ja Ru from New York, motherfucker. This nigga said Ja Wu. Hey. And yeah, you need to fix your spell check because your spell check ain't even supposed to correct it to Ja Wu. Like, what the hell is that? <clears throat> and contrary to popular belief, did I say it right? All right, cool. Ja Rule ain't no bitch. He ain't getting robbed in New York. I know 50 Cent made him seem like a buster and all that, but Ja Rule, you ain't robbing that nigga. Sorry. <clears throat> <laughs> oh, it really is a rapper named Ja Wu. Man, it, you know how many rap. Let me tell you. Let me tell you. Let me tell y'all the reason. Let me tell y'all the reason why I don't be in tune with all these rappers that come out now. You know what I'm saying? Niggas come out every five minutes. Back then, when I was growing up, like y'all niggas' ages, we only had like 19 rappers. You know what I'm saying? T.I. and them niggas from the South, 50 Cent and them niggas from the Eve, Dre and Snoop Dogg and these niggas from the West Coast, bro. You didn't have every city had 500 rappers. You know how, Google how many cities in America right now, Google it. And I promise you on everything I love, every one of them cities got at least 100, 200 rappers. My niggas, there's thousands of cities out here. You who, who, who can keep up with that shit? That's why every time somebody be like, you heard of Wooty Woo Woo? You heard of Wooty Woo Woo? I hear about him if this nigga get shot or go platinum. I mean, that was fucked up. I hear about him if he go platinum. You know what I'm saying? I ain't trying to, that, 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 that's, that's draining, squad. It's hella draining, bro. I'm not finna do that. I don't even get on, when I'm on YouTube, I'm on YouTube. When I'm off, I don't get on YouTube. And what I mean by that is, when I get off stream or I finish doing like reacting to videos and whatever I gotta do with YouTube work, I don't get back on YouTube to look at other videos. No, nigga. <laughs> I don't do that shit. Got it? My boy just said it's 19,000 cities. Nineteen thousand cities. If it was one rapper in each city, that's nineteen thousand rappers. Now imagine how many it is for real. And y'all want me to keep up with that shit. What the fuck? My nigga, it is... What? Mm -mm. Bro, I would never search a nigga named 3-Pop. It's disrespectful. 
Yeah, sure. She's cuffed. What the f I'm like? I'm cuffed. You talking about my cuff? You clearly made me. What the f? I was me. Relax. It amazes me how when people get arrested, they only yelling about their phone. Relax. Relax. Hey, the white people around there are like sounds about black. <laughs> yeah. This is what y'all got to understand, bro. This is what y'all got to understand. And this is what I don't understand. And if I was white, y'all would have me fucked up. Y'all know how black people be having them white jokes, bro? But then the white people say it is racist. Then if I was white, I'd be considered racist. Because I'd be having black jokes up the ass, nigga. I will be, what? Sounds about black. <laughs> Swear to God, bro. And for some reason, I think y'all just scared because of the uh, slavery shit back in the days, the police killers and all that. But look, if I was, bro, y'all would have me fucked up. <laughs> Swear to God, nigga, I see one white person really came out and just start, just roasted us for real. Unless he was joking. It's like, I know y'all got the jokes. I know y'all got some cold ones too. Y'all just don't say them. You know what I'm saying? Y'all just don't say them. I know y'all got some funny cold ass jokes. <laughs> y'all just don't say them, bro. Shit, DM me. Well, don't DM me because then it's gonna, it was gonna turn some racist shit that I want to fight. So, never mind. But, <laughs> nigga, I know y'all got some, bro. <laughs> for sure. <laughs> You're not gonna call the one for the now, okay? Relax. Hey Siri! Relax. <laughs> hey Siri! Get up me! Hey Siri! Hey Siri don't even respond to you calling her name like that. Relax, okay? You need to get the out of here, okay? You can do that all you want. You can do that all you want. You can do that all you want. You're not hurting me at the end of the day. Get the off of me. <laughs> oh, the victim. Can you let go of my arm? Let's take her outside so we yeah. can get the okay, away. Okay, let go of my hand. Hey, this is Anna. Uh -huh. Hey, 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 relax. Okay, relax. Hey, relax. Yeah. Yeah. You relax. That's not gonna do nothing for you. Y'all messing up our fur jacket. Y'all that y'all messing up our meat. What's that bass there? Okay, okay, what's your bass one? Here we go with the bass number. I'd be telling my people, they don't care when we do this. We got to stop doing this. And you can't afford no lawyer. You flying Frontier. Frontier. Like, come on, man. You, you, you ain't got, you, like, you wilding out on the floor. Come on, man. Come on, man. What's your bass number? It don't matter. He's going to give it to you. He ain't going to tell you his name. Because they know you can't afford one. They know it. <laughs> Goes the bass number thing again. That's my video right here. Me, I'm okay. Okay. What's your badge number? What's your badge number? You got to give me that right. You got to tell me your badge number. We will be on the arrest okay. board. Really? And I'm going to tell you like this. When they do ask for the badge number, right, and you show them and tell them, I want the officer to ask them five minutes later, okay, what's my badge number? They ain't even going to remember it. You know why? Because they're just talky. Y'all don't see how everything is verbatim when people get locked up, bro? It's like they say the same shit, like, and they don't even know each other. It happened in different countries, different cities, different states. It's just verbatim, bro. 
I promise you, five minutes later, none of them niggas will remember the badge number. They just talking. I'm going to sue you. They never even been close to a nigga with a suit, let alone a lawyer, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like, knock it off. You sound and look stupid. He is gra I'm relaxed. He's grabbing me, trying to hurt me. Boo, how do you You keep trying to pull away. I'm not. You get. Bro, I'm not mother. That mother's grave, you finna rub me. What's that they don't care when we put it on our dead family either. Hey, all y'all. All y'all pig ass. You a disgrace. You a disgrace to the right you black. I swear to God. You're a fing disgrace. You're a fing Oh, she dripped out. I got that same one. She got the Gucci Adidas. Why is she at the air? She better be an undercover squad. She better be undercover, and if she undercover, are they paying for that, or is she really going out there on her own? She really dressed like that. Never mind. She really dressed like that. Never mind. Never mind. She out there getting her. Shh. You're a disgrace. You're a disgrace. You're a disgrace. You're a disgrace. Okay. This is racist. <laughs> Why we were just talking about it. You know what I'm saying? Because you, you crackers and moo. Like, well, Ritz? Them crackers is fire. They is, bro. Y'all be eating them with tuna and all that. Get you some Ritz crackers with some tuna. They fire. This is racist. I ain't gonna lie. Shit. I was just saying if it was the other way around. It'd be right, so let's go ahead and put it on her. We gotta do. <laughs> this is. Kiss my ass. And I'm gonna find out same day, so this a waste of time. What's wrong with you? Get in your Uber. The women faced charges of resisting arrest with violence, aggravated battery, and disorder. Dang, you doing all that, and you what? Ray her pink sweater. That's the one I was tripping. It's always the ones that look halfway decent that feel like they can get their way, right? Her? That hair all on your forehead that's rubbing your eyebrow ain't the look. I'm sorry. That, that, that. You can see the lace front, my nigga. You. A blow, a hard blow, it would have lifted all the way up and all that hair would have came off. Y'all would have seen her braids under there. She got like eight little French braids going to the back. I ain't lying to y'all. I'm not lying, bro. They thought they was doing it. You didn't went to jail at the airport. You on your bestie. Now y'all can say, remember that time we went to jail at the airport? Yeah. 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 I'm crazy, bro. Early conduct. After each posted a $500 bond, they were released from jail. Additionally, both suspects received a lifetime ban from Frontier Airlines. Mm. Guess they'll never fly again. <laughs> I know a broke bitch when I see one. Guess they'll never fly again. You cannot flip out at the airport like that when you fly Frontier because people are going to be like, oh, we see why you. That looked like Frontier activity. That's Frontier activity, bro. Straight up. How the hell you get banned for Frontier? That's like... That's like... My nigga, getting banned for Frontier is like... The crackhead smoker telling you, don't talk to me no more. Okay, cool, bitch. I don't, I don't fuck with you. You a crackhead. It's not going to make or break. My life is going to be well if I don't ever talk to you again, bitch. Like, you blame me for front. That's being bad for front. You got to be a low life for Frontier to ban you, bro. You, imagine that shit. 
They got banned from Frontier. This shit crazy. Why are you still up? Yeah, go. Y'all got you tripping. <laughs> 